So this is glow-in-the-dark memory. On the right side, there are eight of these caps where each one has glow-in-the-dark material on it. And they each represent one bit of a byte. Under the caps are a white LED and a phototransistor. So the white LED can charge up the glow-in-the-dark material and the phototransistor can read it back. The FPGA over here acts as the controller board for the memory and it is connected by these wires, the, these gray wires of the data bus, the green wires of the address bus, which I'm not actually using. The three wires here are control signals. These are level shifters because the FPGA runs at 3.3 volts and the CPU over here um, the, from Western Design Center is running at five volts. And any write over the ad address and data bus will get translated over to the FPGA, which will uh, charge the correct bits or read from the correct bits on the glow-in-the-dark material. This is actually currently running in a in a debug state. The the reset signal is being held low on the FPGA, so it's not actually running right now. But the these LEDs right here basically debug. So this actually shows the values reading back from the uh, glow-in-the-dark material. This shows the values that are being written to, or trying to write to. This is some signaling, and the last row over here is some extra debug information. So the code here is what's running on the CPU. Basically, it just blinks the two LEDs back and forth while writing to the uh, FPGA. On the right side, over here is easy SXB, which is what is being used to program the chip. So now I pulled the reset wire out, so it's now running in its normal mode. The CPU has two green LEDs that bounce back and forth, and every time they change, they write some data over to the FPGA. So now it's running a lot slower because when the FPGA is writing to the glow-in-the-dark material, it'll hold the bus enable low so that the CPU stops running so that it doesn't have memory errors. If there was a memory error, there's red LEDs that would turn on on the Western Design Center board.